we'll get you this now short by count of defects all right largest to smallest so that gets me the thing now what is cumulative equals to this one it's going to be first for this second this one plus this one because you need to get the total right so this plus this it needs to be now again you do the same thing i will do the control d because that helps so in total we have 1348 so if you want to check go here you can see 1348 right so it's right now the cumulative percentage how do you find the percentage equals to this one divided by the total right total you can either write uh, the formula or just to highlight so i better do some from where from this to this right sorry i added that extra one then can i just scroll down or what do you think that's not gonna work so you will need to make sure you are locking this so let's lock this and move down right so the last one so dollars is be 100 this is i think typically a range so no problem so now you have created the defect table now select these three you don't need the uh, cumulative defects so these three go to insert then go to insert the 2d right so pay very good attention here guys here right click change the chart type go to combo then community percentage you want in this community defect percent in line make it as a another axis right so this column it's already there it's fine so now you see this you have now these coming under what do you guys see that let me get some and nodding for you so this is 120 right and the spaces are just like this so you don't want to make this 120 you want to make it 100 right and uh, let's make it uh, all so what i will do is i will first uh, go ahead and first let me double click on that one once i double click you get the maximum 1.2 so make it just one okay then see what happens it's gone so one to ten so the difference is ten i want to make it a 20 so go from here which is fine now you have 50 differences here which is okay right then what you want uh, let's not have all that lines chart you want to make your own chart name which is fine remove that you want to highlight this which is fine make it a good one right if you want to make larger one from your data which is fine now you know where it comes here it comes around 77 so it's around 82 here so you know what you got if you want to put a label right click add a label right so that way it'll give you the count percentage let's see you want to highlight this with the oval now you want to highlight it or you can do it you can insert an illustration let's put a oval right so with what we need to focus we are supposed to add it right so these are the three main parameters that i need to work on now let me uh, go to home if i do this then where can i go i need to change this right i can't have these uh, shape coming up so i need to make it like this i need to make sure i have no fill and i want to put a good color outlined so let me put something like this okay does that make sense guys so now you know what are the parameters that you need to work on so this will become your Parader chart. So now I can, what are the th top three defects here? Now let me just knock out for you. Right, so you have this number one, number two, and number three. 
So if you work on these three, right, then you can basically, so this 450, these all contents, you're 80%, right? So if you reduce your defect, you're basically going to increase your quality score. So that's the thing. The action plan is already there for you, right? So do you understand this, guys? And it's not that uh, very simple, right? But please understand that these are going to be your top defects, right? So once again, 80-20 rule, basically the problems that are caused are due to 20 percent causes 80 percent thing can be resolved so do you want to learn more you can let me know okay i can help you out uh, let me quickly again tell you how this is done just to make sure uh, you guys are on the right track right so one more time right so prepare the defect report in pivot using excel Create separate column like count of defects, cumulative, and cumulative percentage. So that's what you're gonna do. What we did was the same thing, right? Did we do the same thing, guys? So we, we did that, right? So let me delete this one more time for you. See what we did first. First we created this. How did we create this? So we remove this. We equals to this, this one equals to this one, plus this, right? Yeah, then I will just drill it down, right? Now, cumulative percentage is, this number is divided by total, right? Equals to this number divided by total, right? This is the total, and I can lock this by doing F4, which is, I just need to select only these one guys. Okay, then it's F4, it's locked. Now you can directly do Control D or drag it down, done. Select the parameters and the count and the cumulative percentage, okay? Go to insert, go to select a 2D. Now click here, right click, change the series chart type. Now here, uh, cumulative percentage need to go to line and it should be in the different access. Is that clear guys? So then select like this, after which it cannot be 120, it needs to be within 100, right? So double click on that. Once you double click, you get the maximum, right? Access point, the bounds need to be 100, so which is one, right? The major, you wanna put it by, not just by one, this put by two, Okay, which is fine. You can close it. So it's like 0 to 20, 40, 50, 60, 80, 100. Now this point also can be reduced to 100, but uh, yeah, I think if you want to, it's 50, so I can make it uh, even 100, right? So that way it looks neat. Now you know where it's fit. You can right click and get the label as well. That way you know what's the number. Now you can hover your mouse over to see where the 80% comes, right? Or you can also look from the side, right? You can also look from where? Here, right? Where is 80% touching? So it's still here. So you can take these first three. In some of the cases, you might have four or five or just two. But here, this is the case. So I can delete this as well. And uh, just to highlight, I can put the oval. It's not necessary. You already know what you need to work on. So I am gonna put a shape. Well, what shape did I get? I don't know. So let me go again, get a shape and let's put the oval. So I'm just gonna get from the 80% to this. So I'm just gonna, you know, highlight these three just to make sure. So now shape formatting is going to be very important guys let's make a shape outline and fill so i'm not going to have a fill to this right so i can make this remove the chart okay see guys it's very important that you make it beautiful right you need to make sure you're looking making it look good right that's the point 
there's no point if you don't make it look good right so make it good you have all the options like formats right you have all the ways to beautify the stuff right since i have very less time i could not uh, show you guys but first make the table then put these all color thing right it's very important to know what are your defects so with that i will say bye bye to you guys